the life, this ain't the life, this ain't the life, this ain't the life, baby. Let's go and get into it. Love and Hip Hop New York. Finally, we are getting ready to close this boring ass season of Love and Hip Hop New York and get to some more ratchet tree. Hopefully, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta will give me what I've been missing. Give me something I can pooch on. But, you know, this Love and Hip Hop um, New York, it's just time. But let's go and get into it. Bianca, honey. Bianca, I choose you, looking ass girl. She gets, she wins the, um, whatever the Winterfest or whatever the hell they were doing. So she gets four months more, um, she gets a four month extension on her rent. She ain't paid in the six months. So yes, Bianca, chicken noodle soup eating ass girl. I'm happy for her. She won. I don't think she was the best because her performance was the lip sync, um, battle. I think that other girl actually did pretty, it was some other folks who performed, um, who was not really being featured, but you know, it is what it is. Um, Peter Guns just got so much shit going off, and his he just reflecting on his daughter telling him to cut his damn dick off, cut his nuts up, and just serve it to the, the to the cows and stuff. And you know what? He need to. He need to. Peter Guns, cut that, cut your lips off, all that type of shit. Every time I start doing my review, somebody texts me, Lord, that's not your phone, that's not your iPhone, that's my computer ringing. Um, so he goes to see Tara. Tara is at Planned Parenthood. She, you know, getting she. Ain't, her um, insurance has, has lapsed. Mona Scott Young said, girl, I doubt you even be on this season. I can't guarantee you, so I can't pay it for you. So it just it sucks for um, Tara. So she got to go to Planned Parenthood and get her service. And that was really cute for her. So, you know, they playing in her stomach. And uh, Peter Gunn is hoping for a girl. He said, I, I know it's a girl because I've seen um, she threw up a piece of rice. So, you know. It's a girl. No, it was a boy. And <laughs> Tara was like, you know, this little penis. Um, it look his penis about as small as this, just like his daddy. And Peter got made like, no, you you know what it is. No, we don't. And you know what? Nine times out of ten, the little penis they do be eja they do ejaculate a lot. Um, <laughs> I'm just being fun. Based on my experience with men's. <laughs> <laughs> they just be shooting everywhere. <laughs> Let me stop playing with y'all. I'm sorry. I apologize, child. I know it's going to be a bunch of dislikes buttons from that. But you know what? Justin J don't care about dislikes. I don't care what people say. I don't care about... I don't care about any of that, honey. I have so much going on. So much building. So many things I'm doing that I just don't have time to be worried about other shit. I just don't, honey. I do my shit. I fuck shit up, and then I just leave, honey. I enjoyed our discussion about um, Chris Rock's performance at the Grammys. Everybody gave their comments and said they disagree. I love that we can do that, and I'm not clapping back at anybody. Everybody said, you know, based on some of the comments I saw, everybody said, just I have to respectfully um, disagree with you and disagree with you. You know, and I, and I love that. I love to have, because I'm not always right, and you're not always right either, but it's, we need to understand each other's points of view. That's why we can, that's how we can grow and continue to move on forward. I am not bothered. Please don't. If you know, if you want to tell me something, you can email me at Justin J12, at Justin at justinj1232.com, okay? And we can have a conversation. I got a couple of things I'm working on. When I get through with this Love & Hip Hop review, I got to go into the red, to the to the studio, get some other stuff done. And I know today is the day, the main event, ATL, countdown, coming down, honey, launching. And you will be able to get a real ticket, okay? I'm ready for it. Me and Adrian have been busting our asses. And I just cannot wait to show you all what we're doing uh, and all of this, because this is going to be an amazing um, event. So make sure you all checking it out. The main event, ATL.com. Got some stuff for you all later on today. Dropping it for you. Drop, drop, drop. Okay. Um, what else was going on? Remy Ma ends up going to pick up linens and stuff. And I'm two weeks before the wedding. I didn't understand that. Looking at um, stuff. i like, girl, your wedding is two weeks. You should have been had this shit a month. I don't know what's going on. That shit made no sense to me. I, that shit may not want... That doesn't make any sense for her to be looking at linens and shit. Girl, it's two weeks. Like, anything can fucking happen. What if you order that shit and it's, it's not enough? Like, girl, that shit made no sense to me. Yeah, Papoose was telling Remy Ma, you know, you need to stop hanging around Ross. She, you know, she putting you on... She putting you in harm's way. Like, you can go to jail. Anything can happen to you, and I just don't want that to happen to you. And I like Papoose. And Papoose just turns me on. I like him. I like him. I like him. I like him. 
Hey, Rem, you got you a good man, Remy. You got you a good man, honey. So we get to call the B, honey. She talking to Mariah, Lynn, and Bianca. And um, what's the Cardi B brought up a good point. She was just like, I, I, you know, my Ryan Lynn's talking about with Mo and fix a flat face ass girl. Um, Alexi was talking about, you know, beating her, you know, beating her ass and all that type of stuff. And and Cardi B was just like, why you want to beat up her? And, you know, you ain't do nothing to Bianca. She right there in the restraining what like that shit was just. They ain't child. <sighs> that shit was whack as fuck. I'm not really even checking for that. Ass. Um. So remember my feeling herself, she got a, you know, an advancement for her wedding special. Mama Scott to gave her a little couple of coins so she can go uh, pick out Papoose and ring and shit. Um, so she goes look at it, and then she had on this short bob, and she meets up with Ra, and I'm just like, remember, my, I don't like the short hair on you. Um, and then when you had your hands up, it was like, yeah, just got you making a sick sickening bowl of porridge. Like, you looked like you had just served us, like you had just left the kitchen, and you had washed the powder off, the flour and shit off your... Off your titties and shit, and you just came right in there. That's short, Bob, and it ain't for you. Your head too damn big for this shit. It's too big. You like a thick ass door to explore, girl. Say hello to my back. I just, I don't like it on you, remember? Please don't shoot me, girl. Papoose, you can shoot me. <laughs> in Metro. Hey, I'm getting a little crunk, a little stupid. Uh, what else was going on? So Rob was just like, you know, that bitch tried me, and she knew what it was, and da da da. I don't know, honey. I don't know. And you know what? This episode really made made me like um Yandy. Yandy was talking to Yandy ends up having a conversation with Rima about the bachelor party. She was like, girl, this is what I want to do, and da 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 da. I got this for you. And all that type of stuff. And um Rima was like, well, okay, well, like, what's going on? I need to talk to you about what happened with the fight thing. And Yandy was just like, girl, I was there to work. So I don't know what her issue was. What she had going on, but I came to work. You know, I, I came to to do what I need to do and, 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 and work. And this was the event. And I my life is at stake. My man getting ready to go to jail. And I just don't have time for it. And I'm really here promoting, like, trying to get your bachelor party together. I don't have time for the other shit. And I was like, you know what? I can respect Yandy. I can respect her. Um, I can respect her. I, I like her. I like how she talked to her about, you know, it's nothing like that shit was just disrespectful what she did. She shouldn't have been cutting up. It's a time and a place for all that. Yes, I love it, Yanny. Keep going. So Yanny ends up taking that that that, that free chicken that she had, that, that knowledge, and she took it and speaks it to Tara. Because Tara was like, you know, bitch, I'm pregnant. And the first thing that comes to Yanny's mind is like, girl, where you going to sleep at? Because your bed's still on the fucking floor. Like Tara. And this, you know what? I'm just burnt out with Tara and Peter Guns. First of all, Peter Gunn's like he getting ready to draw social security. Um, and Tara look like she lost as fuck. I don't know where she don't she don't know the difference between a boat or a goddamn car. I want her to fucking go. The storylines is boring as fuck. Nobody's interested. Nobody's interested. We're taught is so redundant. It's the same shit. You get pregnant. Da da da. And, 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 and I'm so sick of hearing fucking Amina screw mouth, screw jaw ass. Every time she talks like her mouth about to sharpen a goddamn pencil. What's going on, girl? Like, what is going on with your mouth? Why are you talking? You, 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 you get behind? I can't just get with... What is going on? Whenever you cry, it's disgusting. Whenever you cry and you go off, it just bothers my spirit. Get it together. So Yanny's like, girl, where you gonna sleep at? How you, you married them? You, you giving birth to these children and for these... and. But to this man that's married, girl, that makes no goddamn sense. And Tara just like, I don't know. Is the dick that good? Like, what is it, Tara? I just need to... You know what? I don't uh, I don't want to know because that'll probably give you a reason to be on season, the next season. And it's too much going on. This shit is redundant. Bye. 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 Uh, what else is going on? Cardi B ends up having a conversation with her sisters. And her sister like they'll beat a bitch ass. They like they were ready. Look, damn, bitch, they would look like they were ready to help fight. And DJ Self brought his um retired no name day ass Sigma ass in there. And I just DJ Self just does not do anything for me. He cool, but child, he don't do anything for me on the show. And he just walked in. He was just talking. He said, "Girl, I heard your loud ass from outside." Then um, Carl be like, "Bitch, I don't want to hear this shit." She just says, "Bitch, why the fuck you ain't checking for my music?" And actually, Carl B actually sounds. Her bars sound better than all of the ones I've heard so far, to be honest. And she's like, why you ain't checking for me? You supposed to be fucking with me. You don't fuck with me. And she was popping off, honey. She was popping off. And the shit was hilarious, honey. That shit was hilarious as hell. 
So we get to Yandy's, um, we get to, you know, Yandy's little bachelor party she's doing for, um, Rima. Rima coming in this, you know, red thing, and they put on her ass, and she like, she had just a, she had, she would constipate a little bit. Her booty looked good a little bit, and then she got to the bottom of it, like, she, you know, she would constipate. She needed an enema or something, but she needed some prune juice. Get her some stat. And, you know, Yandy pulls Rod to the side and says, girl, you know, hey, you know, how, how you doing? Good evening. Whatever. Let me talk to you. And she pulls her to the side. Girl, I love it. Yandy, I love it. If you have a problem, you have some questions, concerns, comments, all that shit. Like, girl, pull that person to the side. Pull them to the side. Have a conversation. Because you might be looking at some shit and it's not what you think it is. Instead of just going through the fucking middleman and talking to everybody else, just talk to the direct source. And that's exactly what Yandy did. Yandy, like, I don't want to hear what Ryan's saying. I don't want to hear what, what Papoose is saying. I want to talk to you. What's the tea? What's the issue? I loved it. Shout out to Yandy for being a grown ass fucking woman and pulling somebody to say, like, look, I heard such and such. Let's talk. Girl. It seems like folks can't do that shit in 2015. And that's why I pay it. <sighs> Dust. Okay? Moving on swiftly professionally. Um, you know, she, she just told her, she's like, girl, what's the tea? You know, I have this problem with you. Did you did this? And I like, and she said, girl, you're you're the furthest thing from my mind right now. I have so much going on. And she just told her to her face, because it's different when people say, I don't care about it, I don't care. But when you tell the person that you don't care face to face, it's everything. She told her girl, I got so much other shit worried about. I don't give a fuck about what you got going on. But I was working and you put me in you put me in a bad place when you did that and I did not appreciate it. And I loved it. So Ra was like, you know, Miss Goody Two Shoes, but Ra got her stuff out too. She was just like, I feel like your your um, intentions are not pure. And you're not really what's the name's friend. And da da da. And Danny was like, girl. The way Yandy looked and stuff made me realize that Yandy, Yandy really ain't bothered by that shit. She ain't really doing no shit just to fuck with folks. She got other shit going on. And, you know, other people say, I got other stuff going on. I don't care. Da, da, da. Bitch, they do care. Because if you care, if you didn't care, you wouldn't talk about it. That's my ultimate thing. If you don't care, just like the Oscars, if you truly did not care about it, you wouldn't have said anything about it. The only people I care. What I'm not, I expect to talk about is probably people who got to talk about on CNN, bloggers, bloggers, YouTubers, all the people who give, you know, who, that's what they do. They give their opinions on stuff like that. But if you truly don't care about it, you wouldn't tweet about it and all that type of stuff. That's just how I feel. And you wouldn't be saying shit about it. I just don't, girl, I don't understand people for the life of me. I just don't understand how people say they don't care about shit, but then they keep talking about it. They keep talking about it like, girl, I cannot. Who are you trying to fake? Who are you trying to pull with that shit? That shit makes absolutely no sense to me. Um, and that's what I'm glad Yandy went off on Rob about that. Just told her, like, girl, what is the tea, girl? What is your issue with me? Um, so that shit was cute or whatever. I'm gonna tell you what happened me screaming at the end of the night. That whole conversation with Mendeecees and his family. Baby, I was so confused. I had to watch this shit 10 times because I didn't understand who the fuck these women were. I didn't know who that was. Jim the Cricket woman was sitting at the bottom with them braids and shit looking like a tired ass old Bow Wow. What's name? Look with them old ass. Um, but you don't know my name, okay? Um, braids or whatever the fuck Bleach Keys. Um, what was that song that she had that was popping? But it was it was cute. She had them braids and that shit looked tired as hell. She like her her, her head looked needed makeup. It was just a mess, honey. So she popping off and she and Judy, whatever her damn name is, saying all this dumb ass shit about what Samantha did while she was in jail. And what's the name? Like, girl, I, what the fuck are you talking about? Where's that shit got to do with any damn thing? And Judy went off. On, I mean, not Judy. Kim went off, baby. Kim went off. Kim talked. Kim turned into Kim, okay? And Kim went Kim went the fuck in on Judy ass. And man, DC, man, DC's popped up and he said, you know what? Can y'all calm down? Because, you know, Kim had called his mama a bitch. And baby, Memphis said, can we calm down with disrespect? And baby, that shit was, you know, sexy as fuck. He did that shit. And his little sexy ass, pretty ass teeth. And he was just talking. And I was like, Memphis, I'm here for you. You know, if you need me, honey, I'm here for you. I love it. He put some bass in his voice and he got them together and calmed that shit down. And I was here for it. Good work. Good, good, good thing. Good things going on. I loved it. 
Um, I'm just ready for it to end. I, I can understand. I wonder, I can only imagine how Yandy feels with going through that. Um, I can just only imagine. And you know what? Memphis, his whole situation, it's amazing how that whole one situation affects everybody because you have all you have these different kids. Like you have children with this woman, children with this woman, and children with this woman. So they have to figure out a plan. Like you're affecting like three families. Three families, not just one, but three families. Like that, and, and and you affecting the mother, and then the mother. I mean, the mother of the mother. You know, you affecting grandma. It's just amazing how shit like that really just trickles down from one thing that you were doing. It's just amazing, and you know. Mm -hmm. But today is Super Tuesday. You need to get your ass out and vote. Do what you got to do. All that type of stuff. Your boy Justin J finna um, upload this video. Get this done for y'all. I appreciate for supporting me. Follow me, um, Justin J1232 on all social media. Um, just get ready, because let me tell y'all something. Something big is coming, and I'm coming to snatch hoes wigs left and right. I am not playing with y'all ass in 2016, honey. I am not playing around at all. And if me snatching and doing what the fuck I need to do to keep on surviving and keep on um, growing is bothering me, bo I mean bothering you, then I don't know what the fuck to tell your ass. Good day and good night. This is the life. This is the life. This ain't the life. This ain't like this. My life. Bye.